Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and today I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily transform your Sublime text color scheme using a package called Color Sublime. Now, this makes it really nice and simple to not only quickly change your color scheme, but it also makes it easy to find new ones without having to download them and, and browse through your folder structure or something like that. So, let's get into it right now. So color schemes are a topic that come up all the time because I, like many other people, change it all the time. So frequently when you watch these videos, you might see a different color scheme. And I like to try out new ones and just sort of see how they feel for a little bit. And then if it's something I like, I'll maybe adopt it for a bit longer. So it's always been a bit of a pain to download a color scheme or look through the repository in the package manager for color schemes, now there's a really nice and simple way of installing and using color schemes with Color Sublime. So as you can see here on colorsublime.com, uh, I'll put this link in the description. Uh, you have all these different previews even, and it starts off and you can see there's over 21 pages of different color schemes that are in Color Sublime. And as you can see, you get little previews, and they're not just image previews, they're actually code previews that you can actually type in here and see what things look like. But it also gives you a great idea of how it will feel to use, maybe paging up and down and seeing how it highlights things, how it highlights the line. So let's go ahead and install Color Sublime. Let's head over to Sublime Text, and I'm just gonna open up Package Control uh, on Mac, it's Command-Shift-P. I believe on Windows it should be Control-Shift-P if you have Package Control installed. If not, head over to the Level Up Tuts videos on installing Package Control. So now we can type Install, and we're going to install a package, and that's going to be Color Sublime. So if you just start typing it out, it's pretty much the only one here after you get to Color Sub. So let's just hit enter. Okay, so now Color Sublime is officially installed. Let's try adding and uh, setting a new color scheme up. So we can just enter our package control once more and just do uh, Color Sublime. And you'll notice that the first option is Install Theme. So let's click Install Themes. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna give you a whole list. What's great about this list is that as you go down, you're getting live previews, and this is probably my favorite part about Color Sublime, because you don't have to install it to see what it looks like, and you don't have to go to their website to see those previews. You can actually see it live in your code, what it's looking like at this very moment. So as you can see, you can page down here and see some ones that you might like or not like. I've actually been using one called Wild Cherry a bunch, and it actually fits this level up tuts purple sort of scheme here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, search for Wild Cherry, which I have already, and I'm going to hit enter. Now that I've hit enter, Wild Cherry is my color scheme. Let's go ahead and add another one. So by seeing Color Sublime, you'll see we also have more color schemes to install. And let's add this 3024. Okay, so now one thing to note is that when we come back into package control, if we type Color Sublime, you'll notice that the only thing you can do with Color Sublime is browse and install themes. To set your themes, you're still gonna wanna do Sublime Text, Preferences, color scheme, and then you'll see your current schemes under this user folder. So now if we wanted to go back to Wild Cherry, it's just right here, and we can just select it here. Perfect, so in no time, I've previewed a ton of themes, I've installed a couple of new themes, and I've been able to change it nice and easily. So that is Color Sublime. It's one of my favorite new extensions for visually modifying Sublime text. So check it out and post in the comments if there's any themes or color schemes in particular you are going nuts over. If there's any color schemes that you just can't stop using that you found maybe on Color Sublime or elsewhere, let everybody know what you're using. I personally am really into this wild cherry even though it's like super purple, uh, but uh, it looks really nice to me. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.